Okay, I'm literally headed out the door and I literally forgot that I'm supposed to be recording this whole entire process. So come with me to make my fake cake. We're about to head to Hobby Lobby, probably Walmart, probably Lowe's, and I also have to get a wig. So we're about to just get the rest of the stuff on my to-do list. For you guys, my to-do list, well not my to-do list, my checklist on the things I need to get. Let's me show you. So I need to get stuff for my heart cake and I list everything that I need to get on the side right here. It's the shackle, some paint, some fake cherries, some icing, pumper stuff. Yeah, so we're gonna make a fake cake if you haven't already told the then I also need to go to a beauty supply store so I can get a, a big afro. Um, and I need to see if they have jean romper there and bangles and like rings to go with the theme of what I'm doing. But yeah, so let's head out because I almost forgot to take you guys. And we cannot keep doing that. Y'all need to come along and see the process. And I'm so excited because this is the first time I've been taking my ideas into consideration and I'm actually putting them out there. Like that is like the greatest feeling to like actually have something that you thought come into reality. Like, but that's really life in general where like everything started as an idea. If you don't pursue that idea, it will never come to reality. Sorry, it may come to reality, but it may not be your reality. It may be someone else's reality. Take it how you want to take it. But anyways, let's go. Okay, so we're in Walmart and we're in like the painting section and I'm getting some spackling it's like to fill up holes so you know like if you have a hole in the wall and you need your deposit back so you gotta make sure you cover that hole before you leave kind of like this literally what they just did here oh you can't even see on camera because this is the one i've seen on tiktok that the girls been using they do have a heavy duty one but i don't want it to mess up i wanted to give icing so i think i'm gonna get two because that makes sense Okay. Bacon Ilio. I don't see the little these, but I want the ones that have the different. Where would those be at? I probably gotta go back to the kitchen thing. Sugar beets. I don't see it, mate. Okay, so scratch that. I love Walmart because I literally could not find. Half of the stuff I needed, like paint, they didn't have like the watery paint that I needed. They only had acrylic paint. And I didn't know if that was going to go out. Plus, plus, the paint that they did have was like $3 a bottle. And I don't even need the paint after this. So, we're going to probably go to Dollar Tree. Probably get that there. But now we're at Hobby Lobby. And this is where all the girls on TikTok were saying where they got their heart from. Let's see if the heart is in here. And... Excuse me. I'm also going to see if they have any decorative things that I want to put on my cake. Like the fake cherries or we also have to go to Michael's. So we're just going to be doing a lot of running around. And I'm going to check in and out with y'all. So stay tuned. Stay with me. Stay with me now. I don't like doing all this shopping either. But stay with me. Okay. I don't like to go to store to store. Stay with me. <laughs> oh, because I definitely need this. It comes with two. Yeah. Okay. We need this. So let's grab this. Do they have piping? What would I do? They have the different... Pipers. Don't need that. Oh, that goes on to something. Oh, these ones make flour. Oh, no, I lied. You do it on top of it. Okay, I just need a, a piper. Oh, they're in my face. <laughs> so these are all the ones that they have. They have ruffles. They have um, all types of stuff. Ooh, which one should I get? I do like the star joint. Got an open star. I do want to do ruffle though. Ruffle is cute. Or a ribbon. Should I do ribbon? Why is this so hard? <laughs> so I got the open star one. Okay, good thing it didn't stick to me. 
Uh, I think this is enough for us. Okay. And I feel like I should have took off my jacket. I've been in my zone, I've been gone for a minute. I just had a girl, help me all of my feelings She don't even know we ain't spoken I'm so excited, I don't think you understand You know I'm a hit it I gave you my soul and the horse that came with it Had a lot to hold, if it's broke I ain't fixing Switch lanes that'll put you in the past now Be Too many women that can keep me from the cash now Building on my head, but for my family I'm the cash cow You can't throw no shit Big. It's big as fuck. <laughs> you know I'm a hit it. I gave you my soul and the horns that came with it. Had a lot to hold if it's broke, I ain't fixing. Switch lanes that'll put you in the past now. Be too many women that can keep me from the cash now. Building on my head, but for my family, I'm the cash cow. You can't throw no shit, Sachi on me, caught in black now. 160 on the dash now. Been in that set, rolling up another pack now. If you wanna smoke, then I got a blind. Baby, this ain't a store, ain't no need to front. Many hoes to choose, I don't even want them Told you baby, all them threes and twos And baby, you're the one Yeah, for real, baby You know, it's like Throughout all this bullshit, we still connected Like, we haven't spoken in a minute But I still feel like you mine Like, we connected And I don't know if that makes sense Like, I just feel connected to you And now you're trying to find out like you're one Tell me, my makeup don't look great. It looks so great. I look like a Barbie. I feel like every time I get my makeup done, um, not every time, but when I begin my makeup done, it be coming out like a Barbie. Like, it just looks so good. She ate it up. I really appreciate her. But yeah, it was just a great vibe. She's a great person. Hold on, because it's raining outside. It is currently raining outside, as you can see, and I need to get to my car, so I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car. Okay, so I just picked up a copy of my <sighs> a copy of my ebook. Let's see. Oh, it definitely kids magazine. Okay, so I wanted to give like a magazine. Uh, thing. Tell me this is not cute. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. I'm so excited. Oh, it's not flipping. Why is it not flipping? Oh, here we go. How freaking cute is this? I gotta show what I'm all uh, London. So freaking cute. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller, but I'm glad that it's big like this because I wanted it to be like a magazine style. So, so cute. I love it. So now I'm about to head home and like pack my bag because my photo shoot was supposed to be at seven, but it got switched to eight. 
and it is currently 527 and I'd rather be prepared than not I have everything in my car I have everything in my car but I just wanted to make sure everything is packed because I just literally threw it in here because I was rushing to my makeup appointment but now that the makeup is done we got our ebook we could go home and really I'm actually hungry so I'm probably gonna eat something um, until 8 o'clock but yeah as you can see the makeup is done my girl Tiara her thing on the makeup as you can see make sure you guys go book with her I'll put her Instagram and everything on this side so make sure you guys go check out my girl cuz that's my new friend okay if y'all didn't know that's my friend okay just tell her I sent you so yeah you might get a little cold off a little this time you know <laughs> a little sign <laughs> Okay, peep the makeup. Real natural, real cute, real beat. You did. Fire as fuck. Doesn't it look like a magazine? The photographer and how he was trying to talk to me, and he said, Yeah, he's just trying to fuck. Duh. Oh, not yo. No, 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 no. I said, Okay, hold on. I didn't finish. I said, That's crazy because Dice said the same thing. And, I, and Dice was telling me how that's really what guys do. And he said, Yeah, especially in Atlanta, that's exactly what they do. And he was like, um, because I told him how I basically showed him my messages about how he was like, oh, um, he was talking to me on the phone. He kind of sound gay. I'm not going to lie. But he called me. He called me before my makeup appointment. And he was like, no, he was just saying that he was on the road and that he'll be here by eight instead of seven because there's going to be traffic. Oh, no. Wait, are you, you said you're not bringing nobody with you? Nope. Why? Who am I bringing with us? Hey, you need to make friends. What the fuck? I know. You got your location on at least? Yeah. So. My sister? Mm -hmm. Tell me your location. Send me. Till the end of the day. Send it. No, please. He needs to send it to too. Oh my god. Why do you guys both act like my dad? Somebody gotta do it. <laughs> Not someone gotta do it. Everything I got. Let me take my jacket off. The only thing I don't have in here with me are like the rollerblade skates. But I got some skates that go with the whole theme of the whole outfit. So the first thing I ordered were these earrings. And this is what made me want to do this whole entire theme. I saw it on TikTok. And so I went on Etsy and I got them. And then I was like, I have to do this photo shoot. And that's how like all this came about. Even like the rollout for the ebook, everything like so crazy how like one little thing can trigger your brain to work a different way. But anyways, look at these. Aren't these just the cutest? These give like my era like of being a kid. Like I remember having the name 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 plated earrings. If you didn't have them growing up, you were not that great. I'm just saying. And I used to have mine literally said Deja with the butterfly. I don't know where that is today, but yeah. I wonder how you, how do you know which way you're gonna go? Okay, maybe it's this one. I also have not even tried these earrings on. I really don't like this. Ooh, these are kind of heavy. <laughs> we will not have these in for long though, but those are so cute. Maybe I should. And I got the biggest size. If you wanna know uh, what Etsy shop, I used, I'll put it in the description below so I can support the girl that made them. But look at them. I haven't tried them on. This is my first time having them on. They are heavy though. So I won't have them on the whole entire time. I'll probably just have them on during the shoot and take them off after. But they're so cute. We have a Curly Q tote bag. And basically the tote bag just has all of our Curly Q supplies, like all our product, um, the brush, the hair, the heating thing, all that is in here. How cute is this? I need to take a picture of this actually. Another one of our props is the little phone. Now what you say is that I want to do a TikTok where it's like, I wear it well no bump cut. I don't know what she says, but I want to do a TikTok. Y'all know what I'm talking about, and I'll put the TikTok right here because I probably already did it. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do that TikTok. You know now, been to a place, but I'll be to You know, the only thing I forgot is to get a lollipop. I need to do that before I leave. So I got all my necklaces from Forever 21. Super cute. I also got an Aquarius. 
which is so cute because birthday, birthday theme, that's just so cute. Okay, now that I have them on longer, it's not as heavy as I thought. But then again, this ear is a little irritated and ripped a little bit because I usually wear big earrings, so this like weighs it down. So yeah. And then I just got these, ooh, ooh, that's a ring. And then I just got these bangles that I could wear. You know me, help. I have the wig. This is the wig that we're gonna be wearing. It's a curly fro. Um, I'll put it on before I leave. Actually, I have to put it on. Y'all ready for the outfit? Cause the outfit is T girl. The outfit is so T. The outfit is too T. Okay, so I went to Akira and Perimeter Mall, and there was uh, this girl. Her name is. I'm a part of Instagram. One thing. I'm pretty sure her name's Fame. Um, she helped me. She's a wardrobe stylist. She was in there and she helped me pick out a whole outfit. So cute, so T. And at first, I didn't like it. But then she showed me like the vision and she snatched the waist, made the shorts a little tighter, and now I love it. So, yeah. But this is the outfit. Uh, and it comes out with like pockets. That's the part I didn't like at first, but, and you can take them off. But these are the bottoms. So it's like a jean skirt short set. So a skirt, however you pronounce it. And these little pockets on here, well, they're not pockets, but. Let me show you the vision. The pockets right here, I mean, these right here look like they're pockets on the thing. It looks like a one piece when I have it on. It's just so cute. But yeah, so that's like the whole fit. Are you excited? Cause I'm excited. Okay, so as you can see, the Aquarius is on here. That is so cute, isn't it? Yeah, it did that. <laughs> okay, so we made it to a photo shoot. I'm about to change. Oh, I was gonna say, where's that on my camera? I'm about to change into my outfit. Here's the cake. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> and this was the final and third red flag. Honestly, the whole experience was red flag and I was literally just ignoring it. As you can see, this is a photographer. His name is Sean. I'm putting his Instagram out there. He literally blocked me. He also changed his Instagram. So I don't know if this is like something that he usually does, but this man owes me $250 for a photo shoot and a video. Mind you, when I first booked this photo shoot, it was like a $100 sale thing. Like, oh, it's $100 and you add add-ons or whatever. $100 for three edited pictures, mind you, right? So I added on a video so I can basically announce my ebook. My ebook has been delayed. If you guys don't know, I've been working on this ebook for over a year. And this year was supposed to be me finally coming out with it and like, really taking myself serious because I've been wanting to drop this ebook for so long. Also check it out. I did drop an ebook. It is a healthy hair guide for the girlies that want to get more in tune with their hair and trying to fix it up. So yeah, it's a magazine edition because I just thought that was super cool. Something I've never seen someone do. So yeah, anyway, back to the story. This was literally the third red flag. Um, the photo shoot was supposed to be for seven o'clock this man also says that he's in atlanta based he is not he's actually in charlotte and he has to drive to atlanta and that is why it took so long for him to get here he didn't leave on time obviously because we didn't start this photo shoot until nine o'clock not seven he pushed it back multiple times he called me all throughout the day um trying to keep up with it and i should have took that as a red flag um but yeah he says that he's atlanta based he is not in atlanta at all so if you want to book with him make sure i don't even know honestly because he's very unorganized unplanned um my photo shoot was literally rushed when i tell you rushed it was literally rushed and i didn't feel really comfortable because there was two guys there there was that guy sean and he had a guy with him too so it was literally just me um and this was very an unsafe environment especially from one of the red flags was him trying to talk to me and if you don't know a lot of the atlanta photographers will literally try to sweet talk you so they can get in your panties like the photographers think they got it like that because they're photographers. Also, there was the girl that did my makeup. She also got her photos done by him. But of course, because she has a bigger following, um, he took her more serious. And I don't think that's fair. So this is me exposing him, whatever you want to call it. I talked to God about this so many times and I want to finally step up for myself. I think because I didn't have a lot of following and he thought, I was just going to sweep it under the rug. No, 
So if you're a creative and you live in Atlanta, do not mess with this photographer. I've asked him countless of times for my money. And every time it's a runaround, I've been asking him for like three months, almost four. And I'm tired. I feel like at this point, if you don't have $250, I feel bad for you. So I did also, the last thing I said to him was that he was broke and that he's going to get what he deserves because... I've asked you for my money countless of times and the work was terrible. Like you fake edited my pictures as well. I had to basically edit my own pictures. So it was like, what am I really paying you for? And it got to a point where like, I kept asking him for my money where he said, you know what? I'll just refund you the whole thing. Still yet have yet to receive any money, but I just want to inform creatives that live in Atlanta that if you are looking to have photos done, do not use this photographer you'll never receive your photos or videos or anything. Uh, He basically uses his business as a way to get quick money. Um, He even said it. He drove all the way out here to make money. But again, not not something that's taken serious because my pictures took forever to get edited, never received a video. And he's just weird. (laughs) Sorry to say it, but the whole experience was weird. I did feel a little bit uncomfortable being there. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Just be aware these Atlanta photographers are scammers. It's all a scam, literally. Hello, guys. It's me, your girl, Deja Deja. Yeah. All right, about to load them up so you look at them. Okay. Perfect. Oh, okay.